What's going on, everybody? How is everybody doing? This is We Ain't Goals. Of course, I am uh, Taz the Two Deep, and that is my lovely wife, Hype Wife, hey, hey. Jessica and Cortez Hampton. Uh, we appreciate you all tuning in. This is We Ain't Goals. It's happening every single Wednesday, every single Wednesday at... Um, at the crib, yeah, that's where it happens. At Go Wednesday, ahead. Day. yeah, Wednesday, Day. That's when it happens, and we are here, and we're gonna have some great conversation. We got a great topic to talk about, and we're gonna get uh get into it. But right now, first, we have to shout out some two two things that is very important to both of us. One of those things is what? What is the first thing we always shout out? Hype wife. Uh, too bad Zumba. Yep, yeah. Number two, mm-hmm. B A D, Zumba. Yes, too bad Zumba. Beautiful and determined. Or bold and distinguish. Yeah. However you want to flip it. Yeah. And yeah. what about Too Bad Zumba? Um, Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1.30 p.m. via Zoom, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and uh, I think we got a new hashtag of two-tone shirts. That's what we're going for. We're trying to sweat, sweat it out. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. So make sure you sweat, sweat, sweat it out. Sweat it out. Every time. So, um, yeah. yeah, make sure you do that. So, where can they find the information about Two Bad Zumba? At number two, uh-huh. B-A-D, Zumba. Cool. On Facebook and Instagram. Cool. Uh, absolutely. And also, we want to tell you about this wonderful guy. His name is Tez 2D. Mm-hmm. He makes some great r&b and hip-hop music Fabulous. so please make sure that you check check out test it too deep on um itunes spotify all those other fun things we want to make sure we get to that please okay um and yeah uh you need to tell these people about the local loot because yes. uh, you need to tell them tell them about it because we, okay so we ran into something today for our local loot segment guess what we have zero people nobody because, exactly because no one sent us a product to review or sent us something in our DMs via email or just we ain't goes at gmail.com or like Tez Too Deep said, Instagram, Facebook, just we ain't goes. Y'all can send us something. Um, let us know a product that you are uh, making, selling, and we'll shout you out. We will shout you out for sure. Um, we got still have a uh, Serene Nights Candle Company. I pointed over in the corner because we are currently yeah, yeah. Um, still. I was I'm preserving this banana nut bread candle, Turn but up. she does have new fall scents out that she did um, release the other day. So we'll be probably getting some new candles soon because this one's on on this last leg almost. So. Okay, and then we shouted out Truth Tattoos. We shouted out. The cake man. Uh, the cake man. He we does whole out. cakes also, y'all. Yeah, make sure y'all get something from the cake man um as well. Like fall season is coming up. I think uh sweets and cakes and, and Halloween You're gonna and need all of these for different your things. Thanksgiving yep, yep. It's family. Be, yeah, and this would be a great gift to bring to um it'd probably be a break uh break, a great little gift to bring to Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for maybe for your parents or something like that, or whatever. We the case run may into be. that with our family. It's like, dang, who's doing the sweets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All so, the food be handled, but yep, yep, that is true. So I mean you want to make sure you get with the cake man. Um, and then also shout out to uh, uh Renisha Stewart Photography, yes, where Renisha I teach Fo- Zumba. Yep, absolutely. Uh let's and see. then your little sister. Yes, Golden Hue. Golden Hue. Yes, get your lippies going. She's going to have new um, uh, colors and fragrances as well for okay. her for her lips, her lip gloss line. Oh. I think coming up uh, the 25th of September. So. Okay, turn up. So if you want to be a part of that, do me a big, huge favor. You can send us an email. You can write us on Instagram. Uh, you can personally Facebook us. It doesn't really mm-hmm. matter. Just let us just get to us so you can be a part of this uh, portion of the show on We Ain't Goes. And oh, yeah. We go have ahead, two babe. others. Um, melodic elements as Ooh, well. Yeah, that was some of the some of the people at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she got the beard and, from um CC's jewelry box as well. Yep, turn up, so. turn up. So make sure if you want to be a part of it, you contact us and we will make sure we make an announcement on this show. And just another reminder, this show is on live on YouTube right now. We're live on Facebook. And then also um after this is over, we will be our episode will be up on Anchor and then give it about a day and then we'll be on Apple, iTunes. Yeah, uh, Apple I'm sorry. Podcast. 
Podcast. Apple Podcast and Spotify. So, you know, we we working, y'all. We working. We on mm-hmm. episode nine. So we're doing a, a great thing. And you know what I forgot to say? This is We Ain't Goes, and I get my drink and drink drink. So make sure you have your drink and drink drink. Whatever it is. To us. Whatever it is. If it's orange juice, if it's milk, um, if it's water, uh, if it's Kool-Aid, I, I really don't <laughs> care what it is. I just want you to make sure you have your uh, drink and you're tuning in or you have a little snack a snack. Whatever you want to do is perfectly fine with us. But I did want to say we didn't get pictures either. You guys are slipping on your pimping. I need you to make sure you show us some pictures of y'all's drink and y'all listening to the show. So I'm Matter of yeah, fact, so go take ahead. a picture. Take like, a picture right now. Oh, no, hold no, on. No. We'll take a picture with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll so take a picture right now. We got it. Oh, you are goofy. There we go. Pause cheese. How are we go? All so right. make sure you take your picture and say, yo, hashtag we ain't goals, or you can add us um, at we ain't goals on Instagram as well. So, yes, that is the first couple announcements that we always make um, before we get into our topic of the show. Um, and our topic um, today is how do you respond? Ooh. OK, how do you respond? So this is pretty much an impromptu um, topic Episode, Yes, because we. We had a topic, but we had, had a situation. We had a situation. Some went down. Okay. Yes. So something went down. And basically on this show, we're gonna talk about um how to deal um with emergency situations. Um and just you know how to respond to them. Um, but kind of maybe maybe some are you know and we always say we are not counselors, so um, of course we maybe say some do's and some don'ts. Um, that work for us. That work for us, you know. Um, and things that we notice. Um, uh, but yeah, how to how do you respond now? How do you respond to emergency situations? We're not gonna really just talk about death or anything like that. Um, but we're gonna put this as an example of. What ha- what has happened to me on what happened to me on Tuesday of this week on September the eighth, which is actually my was dad's. It, or was it, yesterday? it was my dad's birthday. It was my What's dad's today? birthday. Today Wednesday? is Wednesday. Of Dang. course. Why would you ask that? The show is Wednesday night at ten. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so on Tuesday, um, on my dad's birthday, um, I got into a car wreck. Uh, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, um, I was on my way back from the gym. I usually go to the gym right after work. Um, I was on my way back to the gym, and I usually take the back way to um, our house because it's like it, I feel like it's a shorter route. Um, it could just be an old man, and I just think that. Yeah, but, um, it's a shorter route in my opinion, so I take that usually route it's, that I usually take because there's no light. Yeah, there's no lights. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so I was going down the right of way. Um, I was going down the street that I was supposed to be going down. I had the right of way. There was no signs to tell me on, to stop right, or on anything street. on my side. Um, and unfortunately, another car came and collided with me uh, from the side road, from the side road, who do have yield and yes, stop signs. who has a stop sign and a yield sign and uh, where the medium kind of is. Where so, the median is. Yeah, yeah, median is. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, my car, um, it hasn't officially been totaled, but um, it looks like my car will be totaled um, and uh, my airbag deployed. Um, I do have some small injuries um, from that as well. You can show the people. Oh, yeah. Well, if you can if see, you can see, I'm in a sling, but I just got a little cast part on right yeah, now. So the um, wrist is fractured. So my, yes, my wrist uh, is fractured. And, and it may not be fractured all the way, y'all. We're working on um, the bone specialist. Um, I have an appointment with them in the next couple of days. And they're going to, you know, treat me and see see if everything is how everything is doing and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so we're going to kind of talk about like literally that and how to respond to that. You guys feel free to comment, feel free to ask questions, um, feel free to, you know, participate in this conversation as well. Um, Mm -hmm. that is perfectly fine with us. As my wife said, this is kind of impromptu. Um, we wanted to, you know, give people our experience. So maybe if, um, you know, maybe if unfortunately something happens to them, um, something that we can say can kind of help them through their experience, um, as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So immediately when it happened, the first thing I was thinking was, oh, snap, uh, of course. Um, and people would say like accidents happen so fast, right? So they, they happen so quickly. Like I didn't, it was almost like I didn't know. It was almost like I knew what was going on. 
I couldn't believe that it was happening. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, ah, oh, man, I got to deal with it. Like, it was like all of those range of emotions. Now, immediately when it did happen, though, I did. I, I got nervous um, because I couldn't find my phone. And the reason why I was nervous, I couldn't find my phone because I know immediately I called my wife, um, especially in something, you know, in an accident like this. Right. So I just was freaking out. Um, and I was like, I need to find my phone. I need to find my phone. Um, luckily, there was other people that came uh, around and tried to help um, during that time. And, you know, they was just like, hey, man, you know, just calm down for a second. What's what's your wife wife's telephone number? And y'all, this is this is look, y'all better know. Y'all numbers. Y'all better quit <laughs> trying to save these numbers and don't know these yeah. numbers. Y'all better know y'all spouse's number by heart. Yes. Um, because if you're in a situation where you got to spit it out, you got to be able to spit it out. Just like we tell our yes. kids, you better know mommy and daddy's your number. Your address, your phone yeah. number. Yeah, absolutely. Because you never know when you have to, you know, say it to somebody to get help. But anyways. Um, so you called and I will say this also. I didn't call. Someone or, else right. called on behalf of me. Right. And I will say this, I'm a terrible person because I won't answer the phone if I don't know the phone number. So I didn't answer the first time, but then they called back immediately. So that kind of scared me. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So I answered the second time. So I need to get into a habit of answering the phone call no matter what. Um, I mean, you can easily hang up if it's not somebody you don't want to talk to. But yeah, understood. I should have answered that first time, but it it wasn't like hours went by between the calls. It was immediate. So um, I just wanted to say that. Yeah, un- just to understand. be careful. No, no, yeah, I understand. But I think um, what then happened after that, like uh, I'm one of those people. Like, there's two people in the world. Well, there's a few people in the world that when I listen to, um, when I listen to their voice, I immediately get sad. Um, and I mm. immediately get shook, shaken up. So, like, my mom is one, of course, because it's my mom. Uh, my wife, of course, and my brother, like, those are the people, and 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 my sister. So, like, like if I if like say if something happens and I have to talk to them, and I'll say my dad as well. I'll kind of, I'll kind of just get flustered a little bit. Yeah, because I I really um, thought that it was worse off than it was just based on how you were on the phone yeah because i couldn't grasp my like i couldn't i couldn't i didn't know what was going on it was like it was smoke from the car so i literally got out the car um like smoke was coming like i don't know the airbag deployed so i'm guessing it was just smoke from the airbag but at that time, I didn't freaking know. I was just like, "Look, man, yeah, let me get out." The car was going. Yeah, I was like, "Man, I'm about to get the heck explode or up what? Out this yeah. car, because I don't know what's going on. Because I can still move, so let me get up out the car." So I just got out the car, and like I said, luckily people were around um, during that time, um, and they were able to say, "Hey, you know what's going on? Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance?" Blah blah blah. And I was like, I didn't see my car at first, so like I wasn't. I wasn't even thinking about my car. I knew my car, something that happened. Oh, you didn't see the front of it. But yeah, I didn't see the front of my car. So I just was like, whatever, you know what I mean? Let me get my phone. I need to find my phone. Let me call my wife. So I called my wife. Um, She didn't pick up the first time, of course. And she said, why? Second time we got a hold of her. And um, I just kind of like, hey, babe, I need you here. Um, But of course, my my voice was a little shaky. Surely wasn't that calm. So, uh, you know, it was it was just. Uh, it was a difficult situation because I don't like to call her. Like it was a range of emotions I felt because I, I feel like I should never be in that situation where I gotta call her. And I don't know. I just feel weird about. But that. it wasn't your fault, so I'm glad that you did call. Period. Like so I could figure out what my next moves were here. So yeah. that's the thing. Like I was here at home with the kids, and kids just y'all know kids drag their feet. They were on their tablets, um, chilling, and I was just like, no, we have to go. We have to go. Get your shoes on. Come on, let's go. But I didn't want to startle them because I didn't know what type of scene I was going to roll up on anyway. So I just wanted them to know that we had to move with a sense of urgency instead of dragging our feet. So that was um, a little bit of a challenge here. But we... We don't live far from the gym, so yeah, I knew we would get there pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, after that happened, um, and I got a hold to her, and I told her where I was at. 
Um, she found her way there. Um, but just during that time, you know, it was crazy because like my arm was burning and I was like, why is my arm burning? Um, and then when the cops arrived, they was like, uh, I was telling them, I was, they was like, is any injuries? I was like, my arm's just on fire right now. I'm not really understanding why. So putting your arm yeah, up. Yeah, but of the... course, it, he told me it could be just from the airbag, airbag yeah. you know what I mean? And you've probably tried to, you know, stop it from going. I was like, okay, cool. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Um, I had to take off my Apple Watch. And I was kind of mad because it was irritating to burn <laughs> and you know i was i was only thinking about my you know my steps and making sure i completed my my rings or whatever but you but already did your workout yeah, i did i did i did finish my workout so <laughs> um but anyways you know it was just crazy y'all like it was it was nuts because then you have to think about being an adult when nobody else is there mm -hmm. so like i had to take my phone out and once i kind of gather myself for a second let's just start taking pictures i was like let me snap a few pictures while before they try to, you know, right. get me to this ambulance or whatever. Snap a few pictures, kind of remember where I was. I looked at the stop sign. Uh, I looked at the stop sign and the yield sign to see if there was there, if there was one there. And then I remember looking up at the street to see where I was mm -hmm. as well because I had to tell my wife where I was. So some of those things I, rem I just remember. It's really hard to be in the moment like that and yeah. figure it out because – you're also dealing with the other party. Yeah. And yeah. trying to make sure you have their information and seeing if they're okay. Also, it's it's tough. Yeah. Um, and I just get upset stuff happens to me. Like immediately, I just be like, man, dang, like, come on. Of course, like, you know, like I'm one of those people. I'm always on the move. So when something stops it, it's just like, bro, you mean to tell me I got to deal with a whole wreck now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I and got then, stuff to do. Yes. It, but also then you kept on saying to me that you were sorry. And I'm just like, that's nothing that you could have predicted. But at the same time, it's just like, I don't, I don't want you to have to deal with that. Like, you know, I'm that's, that's a lot. And that's a lot of uh, different emotions to deal with uh, when it comes to uh, a relationship. Like, you know, it, you could be scared. You could be, you know, a whole bunch of stuff, you know, and I just felt bad that I put, I always feel bad that I put her in these situations um, anyway, you know, whether it was my fault or not my fault or whatever the case may be. I just don't like her being in the situation because I'm involved in it in some kind of way. So that's where, you know, I'm always coming from because I know you had, things to do as well and you know you did what you had to do um of course but it was just a long day we went to the hospital it was a long Poor time in the child. er um and it was just jesus christ yeah it was just too much i mean they need they need some help uh and, and i went to the one that i thought it wasn't gonna be a lot of people because it's it not wasn't, a lot of traffic yeah, and it wasn't a lot of people no. there but it just still took a nice amount of time because they asked me if i wanted to go downtown or somewhere else i was like oh it's the news oh it's mm -hmm. the news i'm not about to do it everybody's that. there downtown yeah, everybody for a paper down cut. Down. yes 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 <laughs> and then of course COVID is going on too yeah. so no i don't want to go downtown not at all so and then uh <laughs> then uh, you know i could avoid people seeing me and all that at that time you know and i yeah because downtown you probably see when hey cool what you you are you know I me mean? anybody got time prayers for tail you know all that oh, up in that you know what i mean and before i could even <laughs> say something you know what i'm saying so i just that's why we kind of just kept it calm and yeah. kept it to ourselves before we actually said something so i think the question that i want to um ask you you guys now know the situation so now the question i want to ask you babe is just you know how do you um how do you feel uh when things like that happen i know you was telling me about when you got the call but you know once you know i'm in the ambulance i'm on the way um to the hospital like what's kind of the range of emotions i was, that was gonna going say through as you head? said that you had a range of emotion a bunch of emotions i did too so even at home like i said trying to make sure the kids are aware of what's going on like the urgency of it but i don't want to freak them out so i'm trying to stay calm in the moment for them but then when i got up on the scene like nobody was with me but i had to park the car keep the air on and get the, keep the kids in the car and still check on you in the ambulance so but when i saw you sitting upright in the ambulance i had a little more relief because i just didn't know because when i got to the scene i didn't see you at all so i'm just like huffing it and then a guy i guess the emt saw me and he opened the door 
opened the door of the ambulance and was like, Mrs. Hampton? I was like, yes. So I ran in there, <laughs> saw you were okay, saw the other party was okay. He was a little shaken up, a little sad. Um, Try to get all the stuff that we could out of your vehicle. So you just got to think about everything at once, and that's that's hard. Um, CJ had football practice yesterday, too. So once I got from the scene, well, before that, he left the scene in the ambulance before I did, and I was still trying to get keys out of the car, but keys were stuck in the car. So I got took the keys off of the hook and um, got, like, house keys and work keys and stuff off. But then the other party's wife get, gets there, and she's she comes to the scene like trying with to the rah off. rah, and you I was like, "That cuz, no, listen, ain't about to do all listen, that cuz straight up." So I'm asking the guy if he's okay. He's sitting on the curb. He's like, "Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you." She comes. Uh, do they have insurance? Talking to her husband, I was like, "Yes, we do. Do y'all have insurance?" And she was like, yeah, did you give it to them? I said, you haven't even been here long enough. Did you ask the cops? It's all on the police report. And I said, let me get out of here because my kids are in the car. Let me get out of here. So I had an attitude in that moment. But then I still had to remember, cut it off, get in the car, figure out what you're going to do with CJ because he's got football practice in less than an hour. Yeah. So I had to call my sister-in-law and say, hey, what part of the city are you in? She said, I'm on the highway. And she told me what exit, literally by the exit of our house, which was great. And so she got off. She scooped up CJ. I had his football stuff and took him to practice like nothing else happened. Yeah. But then I had to go to the waiting room with Harmony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I'm gonna stop you there because I remember uh, the thing that almost like broke me down to tears oh, because see. my son. So yeah. I had to go. So I took his. I had his uh, football equipment because we was trying to clean out my car because I didn't know how long my car was gonna actually be there. So we was cleaning out my car and I was getting um and I was getting his uh, football equipment and taking it back and then. What made it so bad, it was that the guy in the M, the MT was like behind me because he said, you know, I just didn't want you to fall out or anything. I don't mm -hmm. know what, you know, what could happen. So I put it in the car and like CJ's eyes just gets car, big yeah. and he's like, what the heck is going on? And I say, you're going to go ahead, go to football practice. Probably. I said, daddy going to go somewhere and then I'll see you later. And he just was like, yeah, he started bawling. And I was like, hey, bro. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> I said, I'm be good. Don't you dare do this crap to me right now. So um, I just went ahead and did that and, you know, got myself, you know, got myself together and just kept kept it moving. So I think that is a, a, a motion, you know, that I want to talk about for a second is like how you like the kids like, yeah. okay, now here's the husband and the wife talking about what we need to do and what we're planning to do. And then it's like when you get the kids in there, you know, what I mean, it's just like. You know, you don't know what they're thinking. Because, you know, dads, like, it's so funny. Like, moms will be hurt. And, like, they'll be like, oh, mama, are you okay? She'll be fine, blah, blah, blah. But then it's like when dads get hurt, it's like, oh, snap. What do you mean daddy's dads hurt? Dads are not supposed <laughs> to <laughs> hurt. Like, that, what do you mean dads dad don't is, hurt? Well, what do you mean dad has got to go to the hospital? Why is daddy getting on the ambulance? You're not, something's Daddies not right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'll say that even, sorry, like, but even when my dad was in the hospital, my stepmom calls me and says, okay, Jesse, don't leave work, but I'm already in my car. Like, what do you mean? Don't leave work. So my dad's never sick or nothing like that. So when no, he your was dad sick, is probably sick, but he, but he ain't told me and yeah. I, I, I haven't seen it, yeah, he gets but, sick, but he just ain't but gonna tell sick enough to go it, to yeah. the hospital and he drove himself. That's another thing. Like, Dads do that. And dads say, I'm not going to go to the hospital after a car wreck as well. Like this dad. Yeah. And the yeah. EMT was just like, um, so do you think you should go? Or are you, are you going to go? And I was like, yes, he's going. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah. He can't even move his arm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so. I, it was just, it was crazy. That's a range of emotion. Harmony, thank God. I thank God. God works in mysterious way. I thank God Harmony was asleep. Harmony was knocked out. It was her nap time during that time. And, 
you know, I just had to, she didn't understand anything until I came out with this little small ca- cast and uh, sling that I had my arm in. Well, before that, because she saw you in the waiting room, mm-hmm. which we were grateful that we even got to go in the waiting room because of COVID, of course. Um, So he sat in his chair, we sat in two chairs, and she's like, okay, well, daddy is fine. He's he's looking good in her brain. Can we go home now? I'm just like no, and, she, and of course my daughter actually literally says she that. Said, Can we go? Can home? we go home now? That's and just crazy. then they call him back, and she's like, "Where is Daddy going?" I said, "They gotta go check out his arm, arms. They gotta go look at it." And she's like, "Okay." And then she just wanted some fruit snacks. Yeah. So grateful vending machine was there, but that's only a distraction for so long. Yeah. Um. Then um, your brother comes. Yeah. And by this time, it is from daylight to to dark. Yeah. And Harmony, when she's tired, she's tired. It's a wrap on life. She's mm-hmm. it's only me and her and uncle in the waiting room at this point. Harmony's three. She's going. I wanna go home. Can my we little, leave? My little tinkers. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. And the the ladies behind the desk are like, I wanna go home too, sweetheart. I want to yeah. go home too. So, well, Tinkers don't be playing. She don't around. care about none of that. Yep, yep. <laughs> but then, like, where's my daddy? Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, but then, of course, I come out to the car, and, and she doesn't like respond like sad. She just like she keeps asking me, "What's are wrong you with hurt? your arm?" Yeah, what's like, are you hurt? You? What's wrong with your arm, Daddy? Daddy, what's wrong with your arm? Is your arm hurt? What's wrong with your arm? Are you injured? What's wrong with your arm? Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. So she asked me that literally for at least 20 minutes yeah, at, the on ride. the car yeah. ride home and when we got home yeah just kept asking me what was going on what was going on and, you know I, it's just like i don't my thing was i don't want to put in my family in that situation as i said earlier it just sucks because then like once you get past the wreck and once you get past the okay i'm good then you gotta deal with the stupid stuff. This is the stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta deal. Then you gotta deal with you know calling places, making sure everything's set up. Yeah. What's gonna actually happen? What's the process? And you claim know, number. Let me tell y'all. For us to do this, to get a an appointment with the bone doctor, uh, we had to have the claim number, the claims adjuster name. Yeah, and email. then we find out what's so crazy. As soon as she gets off the phone with the bone specialist um and the to make the appointment then another person from my insurance calls because they are the medical adjuster from the insurance company so like it's it's a lot of stuff to like just deal with just and that's and it's not really a headache but it you just got to be alert headache. you got to be alert um and unfortunately i hate to put my wife in this situation because i know she's got work she's got school and it's like everything just has to kind of be like okay hold up for a second you know what i mean let's get this situated because you know timing is everything mm-hmm. we can't wait too long to get stuff done so unfortunately i had to go and get more stuff out of my car um, they are going to, you know, probably, like I said, my car is probably total, most likely total. So we went to my uh, car again and just grabbed some more personal items um, where they had towed the car. And then once we did that, you know what I'm saying? It was just on to the next stop, on to whatever it, else yeah, we Yeah, we couldn't really stop. Yeah, so um, it, it, it's just And then just now you lot. have to think about, oh, we are down to one car. So the yeah. things that we wanted to get done. Yeah, we got to think about it like, oh, snap. Okay, can I? Will I? Yeah. Do I? And I think that's why I've I've made the decision to kind of cancel out, you know, a lot of things that, you know, I can't, you know, I just can't do this week. So I ended up canceling out a lot of things to make sure, you know, before, even if we got to do this next week, we can make it work. But, you know, we got to make sure we plan everything right. out. Like, we, okay. did, we didn't plan for these two days like this. But now that we know, yeah, we yeah. can plan ahead of time. Like CJ had um, an appointment to get his hair cut and he had to get a shape up today at 5 p.m. I have a Zumba at 6 on completely separate ends of town. So I was just like, Lord, how are we going to make this work? Yeah. How so, are we going to make this work? Yeah. So, I mean, we find out ways to make everything work. I mean, that's not, uh, that's not really, you know, that important no, but it was just, just something that we about. that we had to get you know we had scheduled that was something i mm-hmm. had scheduled like I, I scheduled it at five because i usually get off around three or four and i go work out and then i you know would have been able to get out and there wednesdays you know what i'm saying free. and oh, wednesdays yeah. i'm free because we don't have uh football practice so i'm like okay you know it's like just 
your schedule just changes abruptly. So when you have like you got to learn how to respond to that. Like the, the thing I want to say is you can't get mad at your spouse. Um, you can't do that. Like you have to learn how to balance out your emotions quickly. And that is hard. Um, Very. No one is saying that everybody's going to be perfect about it. But you cannot like like with me. I just want to make sure that my wife understands what's going on and understands the moment and understands that we just got to get this thing done. So I don't have to bug you about anything else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. let's try to get this completed as soon as possible. It, it's just hard, like dealing with deadlines. And then not and to mention, too. like I say, I'm not in pain, but I'm fatigued. I know I, I'm, I was really tired today for some reason. Yes. I was yeah, super yeah, I was super tired. I think I was more tired. tired because you were home. And yeah, I don't yeah. normally I was, have you I was, home. Yeah, yeah. It's just comfortability. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, I just, just, yeah, right. I'm mm-hmm. I was kind of tired, but at the same time, I had to get everything done. It was just a, it was just crazy and being in the hospital for so long. So I was fatigued as as well. So, you know, but I still didn't want to take that out on her. You know, I don't want to take out any of my frustrations out on my wife. And then, you know, we we had our conversations and we had our moments to where, you know, we just like, Hey, this is, I don't know what's going on with you. I'm trying to this. And well, babe, I'm not trying to be there. You know, yeah. we have, I just knew it was a whole lot. Like, cause she had to stop what she was doing. Yeah. And, and it was like, I'm just like thinking in my mind, like, Hey, you know, this was a, like, you know, I wouldn't even bother you about anything because I'd be at work or I, you know, I'll get it situated. But now, you know, now I, you know, I'm an, I, I actually need you. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I need you right now. You know what I'm saying? Men need me. You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? Like I need. I can't even put on my shirt. Really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't. It's a little small things like that. You don't even think about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and I'm not and I try not to huff every time when I'm like you don't and you don't even huff yeah, that I don't. Time. I don't. It's just, just more saying. of when it's abruptly getting done and you just. Because I didn't plan for it. You know, you got bless your heart on that. You, you when it's time to like get up and go, it's kind of tough for you. You know what I'm saying? It's tough for me because I, I mean, knew in general, what time it was, period, um, that I had to submit some stuff for work. And I just in my mind, I knew I had some hours to do that. But when they call and say, Hey, you can come right now and do something. Yeah, because they gone, you know, within the next hour or so they gone. I'm like, Oh, what what do you mean it's gonna be but gone? It, it luckily worked, it worked out, out though because we got the hair appointment changed as well, which was ten minutes from where the car was. So everything worked out yeah. fine. But I was tired, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Still to you. tired. Super tired. Right. And you just gotta just deal, right like now. I said, just dealing with that. Um, and y'all gotta y'all better have a plan for emergencies, man. Yeah. You know, we always tell y'all to write stuff down and all of that. Um, y'all better start having a plan for emergencies. I mean, have does anybody and you guys can answer this if you want? Does anybody have a plan for emergencies? Like what to do? Like, okay, if something happens to me, who am I calling first? Or if not, who am I calling first? You know what I mean? How do I get in contact with them? Is there a code word? Is there, you know what I'm saying? Like what happens you know what i'm saying yeah. god god forbid if somebody gets into a car accident i don't even think about it or just any it can be anything y'all it doesn't necessarily have to be a car accident but just any any emergency where you need to contact your spouse like what do you do <laughs> like what do you do cuz i mean you got to understand that if you don't tell like you like for example, if I got into this accident and I did not tell my wife at all until I got to the hospital, how do you think she would have felt? Y'all know something else. I was really thinking about just trying to be a little bit petty, uh, mad at him because normally he will tell me once he leaves work that he's going to the gym anyway, which I know his routine is leave work, go to the gym, but he will normally tell me that. But I saw on the Apple Watch because we share that activities that he completed the workout. And I was like, he didn't even tell me that he went because sometimes you work late. And I didn't know yeah. if you were still at work or what. Did I work late that day? I uh, sort of kind of. I wouldn't know because I knew what time it was like five o'clock when you left the gym. Yeah. When so I got I the activity. Yeah, I, I get off earlier than that. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I can't wait till he get home. I'm on girl his. No, Why you didn't say something? Why you didn't tell me that you was at the gym? But then I it's got so that funny call. she's like that too. I, I just be I be saying stuff to myself. I'm not really gonna unload on you like like that. Mm. I will when it's time. But yeah, okay. Cordy, 
Keep it moving. Anyway, um, so I was just I was ready to be like, why you didn't tell me you was at the gym? You could have told me you was at the gym. What if something happened to you? And then boom, stuff like that. You know what? Every time, so I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't call you because if you would have responded that way, I probably would have been. I already know. I already know. Off if but you would have responded that way. That wasn't. I know, but I'm just saying. If I would have called from my phone, see, God works in mysterious ways. I'm telling you. If I would have called from my phone and you would have said, "How come you didn't tell me you went to the gym?" Just joking around. And I wouldn't have started like that though. You but probably would have. No, just naturally, have. just joking around. You know but something? we you can know. talk about the first time you had. Um, a wreck. We wasn't married then. No, but no, listen. This is back to me and this goofy. So he dropped me off at my home with my parents. We were children. Dropped me off. When we was teenagers, girl. Children. Children. children can't drive cars. If they can, they then... can. Minors can drive cars. Man, the we was teenagers. Okay, go on. Okay. Anyway, he dropped me off. And I said, okay, see you later. And he's like, you're not going to give me no kiss? And then I gave you a kiss, like, playing. He was like, well, what if I go and get into a wreck? And I said, here, just here. Give me the kiss then. I did say that. So then he calls, like, 15 minutes later and says, Jess, I got into a wreck. And I'm like, boy, stop. Quit playing. No, just don't even play. And I said, okay. No, for real. I got into a wreck. And I said, "Are you serious?" And I, I did. I told. Does that when I told her my mom's car? Told her your mom's car. Yep. What? What's? What's? Uh. And I don't know if that was your was brother. That my fault? I, I can't remember which. Yes, fault. because you turned. I did what that guy did to me. Yes. Basically. Yes. I tried to try to it. beat. Mm-hmm. Dang. Yeah. Ain't that crazy how Full God circle. works? Ooh. Also, God is funny. He has his sense of humor because y'all know, or maybe y'all don't. Last week or the week before, my car was down. No, both cars were down. Yes, and then your car was down, but it got back up quicker than my car. And my car was down, and I was like, dear Jesus, please, please let my car be fixable because I don't want a new car, and I don't want a new car payment. I just don't want to have to deal with it. He said, okay. Well, I'm not even going to say that. I'm, I'm, you're not going to have no new car. How about this? No, nah, I'm not even gonna say that. I mean, because we don't even That's, know what the car situation is yet. I know, so but I'm, I'm just even you're gonna, gonna have to get a new car. You're okay. not gonna drive the same car. Well, I don't I don't know. I didn't say that, but we don't know what the situation will be, sugar honey foot. So you need to keep your foot in your mouth Mm-mm. while you keep talking, little sugar. He's gonna but provide. anyways, he will provide. Yes, I know he will. But I'm just saying in general, like my thing was someone at my job. So someone at my job, it was two people at my job that um they had a sling on or whatever, but they were on like restrictions to work. Like they could work with a a sling on at, at, at work. So I remember talking to them about that. And then there was then our next door neighbor. Um, he, his car actually got, um, he got into a wreck and he had to get a new car. And I was talking to him, um, about it as well. And then, uh, just all of these things happened. Like I said, my car broke down at work so we had to get that fixed we just put money in um my wife's car as well to get that work and to get that back up and running as well like literally these things was like t- two weeks ago mm-hmm. so it was not a long time ago when all these things was happening and then of course on tuesday this happened so it was a lot to kind of deal with and it was a, a lot to um you know uh, it's still a lot right now. I mean, because yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Let me keep it all way hundred with y'all. So, and we always talking about God on our show because we have a relationship with um, God. And mm-hmm. I was so y'all know I'm gonna get my exercise in anyway, in some way, somehow. I'm not going to the gym, but I had to get my walk on. You know what I'm saying? So if you if if I can't go to the gym, then I'm going to get some type of cardio um, in every day. So what I ended up doing, I was going on my my you know my daily walk. Um, or whatever, try to get a, a few miles in or a mile or whatever the case may be. And then, of course, I was listening to, uh, I'm really off of that Lecrae album, um, Restoration, um, that album that had dropped two weeks ago. And that CD was actually what, well, the that, that album, album was, was actually playing, playing um, during my car wreck. And there was a specific song that was playing on uh, that, uh, on the, album. On the uh, album when I got into the car wreck. 
And I'm literally walking, right? And I'm just doing my thing. And that song comes on. And when I've I've had the Holy Ghost before and I've experienced um a spiritual happening within my body. Um and literally that's what happened. Like that song oh, came yeah, on. Um and it just just tore me down. You know what I'm saying? Um it's just got it's like every day I wake up, um, I, I get a chance to wake up. Uh, it's mm -hmm. like it's like words that it's like double entendres, I guess, um, on how he uses his lyrics. And it was just crazy because I remember that song was playing when I got into the wreck. You know what I'm saying? And it was just it was just yeah, yeah. It's just it was deep to me. To me, it very. was deep. No, that's and, very deep. And I um I just cried, y'all, like literally walking and crying like Jesus but that's, Christ. And that's the other range of emotion for me is that I'm grateful that all you did was get a fractured wrist. Like yeah. I'm grateful that you're still but you know, here. I didn't even think about that. Like, I don't yeah, think about like, I, did I was like, when I got done, I thought about my kids and you. And I said, I'm, I'm glad you guys wasn't We're in, the in the car. But yeah. I did not think about the injuries that I could have. The like the worse. more more of the things that could have happened to me in that situation. Mm -hmm. So like I thought about, like I said, I literally thought about y'all, and I was like, I'm just glad nobody was in the car. You know, what I mean, I was by myself. And nobody else was injured. The other guy wasn't really injured. So I'm like, I could take a little bumps and bruises, and I'm fine. But I never thought about it. Like, dude, you literally could have been really hurt, Tess. Like, Absolutely. If you didn't have your seatbelt on, if you didn't have you know, like, you don't know how this impact, you know, could have been for you. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I never thought about it that way. Um, And, you know, I listened to that song, man, uh, about Lecrae. And just, I think it was just because I remember it being on. And then the lyrics in some of that songs, it's not like a deep, crazy song. But it's just like, it's upbeat, it's up tempo, And it, it just, it just touched me, man. And I mm -hmm. was like, oh, my goodness. This is crazy. And it says, thank God I get a chance to wake up. And that that was the lyric. That was the phrase that I kept hearing. And I was like, man, I didn't even think about it that way. Like, yeah. I mean, I got a chance to wake up the next day and be able to tell my little story right. um, and continue to just keep it moving. You know what I mean? So everybody doesn't get that opportunity that has car wrecks or has emergency situations that happen to you. So as I said before, guys, please make sure that you have a plan um, to talk to your spouse about what to do beforehand, who to call, what to do. Um, who is the person that's in charge of the kids? Who do you want your kids to go to? You know, if it, if it's godparents, if it's uh, uh, grand uh, grandparents, yeah, aunts, um, uncles. you know, aunts, uncles, or whatever the case may be, make sure that they're on call. Make sure that they know that, you know, like I said, I don't even care if you guys come up with a safe word or whatever the case may be for that as well. You know what I mean? Like, you know, hey, if you hear me, if you see me text, uh, uh, help or i blew alert uh mm -hmm. i cuss you know what i'm saying hey, whatever cuss. you know what i'm saying whatever now, the case may be, be it, nah, that's I what cuss, we what say all the time. time but like <laughs> you know like seriously you guys got to think about something and think about what to do and and when you're in a situation remember to talk to god the whole time so like remember like like when you when you're like going through it remember to have that conversation it, it's a little self talk as well but start mm -hmm. talking to yourself because when you start talking to yourself and you can you, you can imagine having this conversation with God when you start talking to yourself and ask God like okay God okay keep me keep me calm you know what I'm saying God you know help me you know give me strength right now or whatever the case may be whatever you think you need at that time or at that moment ask God for it before you get there you get what I'm saying yeah. And like, and then while you're doing that, then that way you'll be able to handle any situations as well. Cause I mean, I thank God that the dude wasn't, you know, I thank God I didn't have to like set trip. Right. Over, I thank you know God that he sat there and he had insurance and he was communicating. He was, yeah. cause he came over to me and he was like, are you okay? And I was just like, yeah, I think I'm all right. And I was, and, uh, I was really trying to compose myself cause my, you guys got to remember, I just came from the people. Yes. Yeah, so like, your the energy. Amity, yeah. The your... MTs understood. I was like, well, wait a yeah, minute. They said, you just came. I was yeah. like, yeah, I just came from Planet That's Vegas. another like, thing. Like, your blood pressure was high because you already Up worked out. Roof, I was like, and boom. Your endorphins go. were high. Yeah, I was ready. I mean, I was. I and had then a, the shock of the. It was a great workout, wreck. too, because I was working on my abs, too. So it was a really good. <laughs> a really but that's good what workout. I got scared of at the hospital 
was because of your blood pressure being so high. Mm. If they were gonna keep you or not, and they tried it. They didn't. They took it like four times though. No lie. And they kind of looked at me like, "Look, boy, do you know uh, <laughs> your blood pressure is pretty high? Like it's been a while since the accident. Yeah, your blood pressure high. is still high. I'm like, oh yes, God. but I feel like you kept on worrying about stuff because once you had that lady come get your phone, you was like, "Have you done this? What are you gonna do with the kids? What are you gonna do this? What are you gonna?" And I was just like. Stay back there and chill. Like that's where I was. Like, I but that's hard for somebody I, I who always does that. I know like, it's hard. I'm always the person to be like, did you do this already? I so know it's hard. I'm like a like I'm like a checklist sometimes with my mind. Like, hey, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you call that? Because I was like, get my work, please get my keys. Because all I can think about, y'all, once I kind of got set, I was like, man, I gotta be at work in the morning and put this. I gotta open this store for this, and I gotta do this. And I'm like. Please grab my keys. I was like, where he was this morning. I was like, please grab my keys. Why would you even say that, bro? Because you try to to go to work. and I I know, but chill out. Chill out. Whatever. Chill. Um, So just make sure you have have the keys and all of that type of stuff. So I just want to make sure I was actually pre prepared. Yeah. Um, for that, if people don't think like me, you know what I'm saying? They don't think like me. They don't think like, okay, because you care and. But it's hard. It's hard to turn all that off. I and can't just, turn all that and off. care for yourself. Though. I know. What, I, what I'm going to care. You? I'm going to care for myself. And we're getting into something that we don't need to get into. But what I'm gonna say is, I care for myself all the time. Okay. But I, if I have a responsibility, and I have weak workers, and I have weak employees that don't know what they're doing, so I have to make sure that I'm strong enough to at least put it in place on what I need to be doing. That's the fault of the company. That's the fault of them. They need to get it together. But at this moment, Mr. Cortez is never going to be blamed for anything. So even in even in distress, even in moments of like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? I'm going to have the presence of mind to make sure, OK, here, this is what I'm going to do. My butt is going to be gone, but I'm going to get this done because this is my responsibility. Once I get that done, peace out, homie. I'll have to get yeah. y'all together because I have to take care of myself. Heal. I have to get those things done, period. That's just that's just how it's going to happen. So I'm not I'm not about to not take care of my responsibilities, especially if God is still giving me, you know, strength and and I'm breathing and everything is okay. Okay, Tez, what what can I do? I can't be weak like other people. I can't be I can't do what everybody else does and be okay with it because I'm not that type of person. Never will be, and it's just and I will make the whole world mad because of that. I don't really give two craps. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do what I gotta do because the same way I live my life and the same way I do with you. So if I want to do if I want to make sure you're good, if I want to make sure that you're taken care of, what do I do? Stubborn. Don't try to say you don't know. I'm stubborn. Like right now. Exactly. I'm not trying to make you mad about. I'm not mad. I'm a gangster. You just can't say stuff to a gangster and then think it's going to be just But you still got to heal. And that's what I'm trying to help you understand. You have to heal. I will be healed. You can't be everybody's everything. You know what? Well, tell everybody that. And once you stop. Nope, don't work like that because then you, you get in trouble. Then you get in trouble. Man. You go ahead. Okay, well, you stop. That, that, you stop. I will. Quit being everybody's everything. And I you sure stop. will. And, and when I you have. stop, and what happens? I sure have. Mm-hmm. I don't even work there no more because of that. I ain't talking about that. I That's what I'm talking about. That place, place the right there. Place. Sugar That's foot. what I'm talking about. Sugar, honey, foot. Don't you get twisted because I'm a gangster. I don't know why you want to keep playing with me on We Ain't Goes. I, I, get... I don't know why you play with me either. Shoot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, anyways, uh, <laughs> But yeah, that job will be there, and they will replace you with the you next person. You said that, girl, boo. What does the job got to do with my personality? That's what I'm talking and I can't, about. I can't help that a job hired a phenomenal person. What? What the heck? What does that mean? I can't help that a job hired somebody that's gonna take. And I was sitting at home. I did what I had to do, and I got back at home. I made sure everything was fine, and that was it. Because of a situation that happened, that's it. That's it. That's okay. it. You know how you know how jobs work. Now let's let's do this. Let's say Mr. Cortez gets fired or Mr. Cortez gets something due to a situation. Due to a wreck. Then yes. we have, then we'll have a lawsuit. You just said about the same. You we'll just have said, a lawsuit. Girl, ain't nobody got time for all that crap just yeah, because of do. a key. No, girl, no, yeah, now you're being petty. Now you're being petty. And you that's are fine. Not, no, because you, you definitely are not going to do that. You're not going to keep that same energy. You're not going to do that if for I, your If I for could not place. go get the keys, girl, then what? 
girl, if stop. If I didn't get the keys, then what would happen? Girl, I stop. I did what I had to do. I'm not going to change because I'm a fucking gangster. And that's what I do. Oh, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Party words. Yes, the potty words came out. You tripping, cuz. You know that. You know I'm going to take care of that. And I did what I had to do. And I'm good. Okay. You know that. You know that. Don't you don't do that. Don't try me on this on this podcast. It's not about no podcast. We Whatever. talk like this all the time. Dang. And y'all better chill out on the comments because I'm girl. Mm, don't don't play. Now she got my boy. My my bacon is boiling and my eggs is frying. Who boils bacon? I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just thought it, I just thought it sounded cool. Uh, but anyways, yes, y'all gotta know how to respond. Okay, you gotta mm. know how to respond. Okay, to all to all those things, and please make sure y'all y'all gotta make sure y'all talk to. Uh, we say that all the time. Do you notice that? Like we always say, communicate. Like that is like we we gonna have to have a communication episode one of these. I don't months, even so. know how we can have know, a communication <laughs> episode because everything ties back into to communication. communication. That's true. That is true. That is true. Because I I have to we'll have to figure out that um and maybe we'll get some more um information on that. But yeah, communication is key. Um, and just make sure you guys are paying attention um, to each other and not getting in your own feelings. Um, and that's what happened with me. I'll get in my own feelings and I'll just be worried about things I need to worry about. And, you know, but I'm worried about you. Woman got it. I mean, I'm worried about you worrying about yourself. Yeah, but you got it. I don't need you to worry about me worrying about myself. I need you to still make sure things are good. Like I said, when emergencies happen, you, it's your turn. If I'm in an ambulance, it's your turn, mama. It's your turn to be mama wife and all of that so as long as you make me feel like i got it i mean you got it i ain't gonna trip i'm gonna ask the questions naturally but that's just what we do you know what i'm saying hey babe did you did you this well yeah i got it don't worry about it you tell me don't worry about it i am not going to worry about it especially if my arm is burning and my hand is tingling i ain't worrying about nothing you know what i'm saying and then y'all in a girl, girl in the daggone uh er I guess somebody thought they had something. Oh, oh my goodness, babe. That's a whole nother stretch. And it was I was so just sitting, much. Oh, so in my phone, and you know, this is like the time your phone is about to die. So I'm like, both of us. <laughs> so stupid. I'm like, we sitting there texting each other. Wait, I'm wait, like, eight percent left. I'm like, babe, what is going on? And I don't know. She said, well, this somebody came in and said, no, I'm gonna have. tell you. I'm gonna tell you. So an, of another family, at one point, it, another family came in. I think a little boy's shoulder was messed up from baseball or whatever mm -hmm. so it's the mom the grandma and the son okay. sitting there in front of me and harmony so we're distance of course uh but then another couple comes in and a man sits down and the ladies behind the desk are like what's going on do you have any covid like symptoms and he says yes the people in the front of us said did he say yes <laughs> they like lost it and by this time harmony's trying to go to sleep but she's tired she's fidgeting with her mask and i'm like oh no if any time to keep your mask on it's right now forget these fruit snacks yeah put the mask on so time to go. It is time yeah so we're just gonna wait in the car the timing was perfect anyway for us to get up we had to meet cj from football practice outside but so then let me tell you this so then when i'm back there waiting of course i'm waiting you know until jesus comes back but i'm waiting and um <laughs> And this guy just comes through the hallway and he's like, uh, uh, and I'm like, oh, Lord. what in the world is happening? Dude is just walking back and forth. And, uh, 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 and he goes, and I don't know if he like pukes or whatever the case oh, may Lord. be. I'm so glad we got up out of yes, there. I'm, I'm so serious. And then he comes back. This is news to me. I didn't yeah. know about this. Yeah. And then he comes back and then, uh, you just hear the doctors like, oh, are you all right? Are you going to be okay? Absolutely not. <gasps> and I know the feeling. So, like, I'm not going to lie to you. I just pray for the man. Uh, I, mean, I was like, look, I don't know what they're going through, but Jesus, please let them be all right. Because I was just praying time. for you to said, come up out there. Every person that came out the doors, I was like, is that him? Is I that said, him? it's time for him? me to go, but I want to make sure that that dude is okay because it don't sound too good in there for him. Sheesh. So I pray for him. I pray for him. No lie. I pray for him because I was like, I was ready to go to. And I was like, please. Jesus, also, let, let's on get top that. of all of this, we had not eaten. No, we don't eat. Yeah, eat oh, y'all. It was five o'clock. So it was time for me to prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. I was at home and then thought some stuff fell. I was like, okay. Yeah. We were starving. All yeah. of us. So, kids. so, so, yeah. So just at the end of that, um, 
literally my nurse came in, babe, and she was like, I'm sorry for that. You know, we just had to deal with something and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, is everything all right? She was like, yeah, uh, he's fine. And then when either when she was leaving or when she was coming in, I can't remember, she was like, he don't have to be that extra. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, geez, y'all don't need to. I don't need to hear all the uh, hospital secrets Man. and all of that, which I really be saying about patients. So let me get on up out of here. Or whatever, but I was telling them nurses and stuff. I was like, "Look, man, I look. What, what do I? Because when they came and put this wrap with my sling on my arm, I was like, what are y'all doing? Like, what? Come on, y'all. Like, come on, y'all. Help me out now. What's 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 happening? What's really good? What are y'all doing all this for? You know? And I was like, Mister Hampton, we have to do it. I said, Look, I'm good, y'all. Shoot, no. just give me some pills, cause, and I'm good. Pop and pop. Pretty hard. Now yeah, I know, right? I know, right? I know, right? But very much okay. Yeah, yeah. That is a temporary one of those. Um, I think, I think they call it like a temporary cast because oh. it's not a cast cast, but yeah. they got little stuff in there. It's not like I could sign it. Yeah, you feel me? No, nah, it ain't that serious. Ain't nobody going to sign it. And if you do, it's going to be in a blue pen, of course. Oh, jeez, um, of course. But uh, other than that, y'all, I think that's it for tonight. Um, we, You just got to remember, I think, just some tips for tonight. We just wanted to share the experience that we just had. Um, and as we said before, make sure you talk to your spouse about what's going on. Uh, family members as well. So that's moms. That's uh, dads, uh, children, especially mm -hmm. if your children are over the age of like 13 or, you know, to, or maybe 16 and they're driving and things like that themselves. You know, maybe you need to have a conversation with them if you have children over the age of 16 that's actually driving. Like, hey, what do you do? Right. You know what I'm saying? When I get when you get into a car wreck, what's the first thing I need you to do? You know, you got to get the insurance. You got to do the police report, plate. take pictures. Yeah. But if you want to call me first or, you know, maybe maybe you don't need to call me for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know whatever you want to tell your children what to do and make sure that they know it's it's on you it's your ch child you raise your child how you want to raise them um but just make sure that they know is my point make sure your children know make sure your spouse knows um what to do you know if it's if there's ever a time as i said before learn your spouse's number don't you hit me with no instagram page uh, uh, yeah none of that yeah, i know they instagram <sighs> handle <sighs> though just 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 at hype what? wife what what are you talking what about is, hype wife? What is and I, because imagine if Hype Wife or Tez Too Deep gets this notification um, randomly, and then it's and from it's somebody. Sit in your request, exactly. It's gonna sit in your request because they ain't gonna know what's going on. And imagine, Foolish. imagine if that person took a picture and said, "At Tez Too Deep shaking up from a car wreck." Just and that's news, to and me. that's news to my like, wife. Why? Like, oh no, oh no, baby. That's not the way for me oh, to find that's out. not how that's you not find it. out. So make sure you know what to do. Um, when things happen and of course like even people that has the the hurricane situation you know you gotta that's another that's whole emergency another yes emergency, another emergency yeah. plan that you gotta have um in in order uh same with uh tornadoes um yeah, rain, any natural disasters any natural so. disasters just make sure you have yeah. that taken care of and just you know like i said everyday stuff that may happen you know what i mean so make mm -hmm. sure you know what to do we thank y'all so much for tuning in once again please 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 make sure you go and uh visit too bad zumba when you're in the louisville kentucky area mm -hmm. uh make sure you check it out and then check out Tesla two deeps music on itunes and spotify and we ain't goes at we ain't goes on instagram and on facebook we also have a youtube page we are live every single Wednesday. And guess what, y'all? This season's almost over with. Yes, I was going to say we have uh, episode 10 coming mm. up. So we, we might just round it out at that. Yeah. We don't know. We got a few special things. like Yeah, we, like, yeah, we got some things. Said. But at the same time, we know that the season is yeah. about to wrap up. It's going okay. to take a little break. Now, we might not take a break. That but is the a break. season. This see this is my to... season for grace, yeah. for favor. You know all of that type yeah. of stuff. So the season is changing. We we already fall fall. Is no fall, fall y'all starts twenty first. Okay, twenty first. Okay, September. So. Okay, cool. So we about to go into fall and all of that. We are gonna fall back and fall. You get fall what I'm back. saying? We're gonna fall back a little bit. We thank y'all so much. We love y'all and make sure you tune in next time to we. Ain't, Ain't ghosts. ghosts. We see y'all later. later. Good night.